Continuing with our lesson one in algebra, now we have some that have parentheses and brackets in them. And so when we're going to solve linear equations in one variable that have parentheses and brackets, we have to get rid of the parentheses and brackets first. So let's look at our first example here. We have four times the quantity seven minus x. We're going to distribute the four both on the seven and the x. So we get four times seven, which is 28. Four times minus x, which is minus four x equals 3x. So now we got rid of the parentheses. Now we follow the original steps that we learned before. We're going to move all the terms with x to one side, everything else to the other side. So the 3x goes to the left, the 28 goes to the right of the equal sign, remembering that when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So this becomes minus 4x minus 3x equals minus 28. Now we combine like terms, so minus 4x minus 3x is minus 7x equals minus 28. Now we divide, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient, which means the number in front of the x uh, by, um, on both sides. Now the minus 7 cancels out, so we have x equals minus 28 divided by minus 7 is plus 4, and there's the answer for our first problem. That x equals 4, when plugged in here, makes the left side equals to the right side. Looking at our second example, now we have two sets of parentheses, and again, we get rid of the parentheses first. <clears throat> Excuse me, we multiply the 3 times the 2x, we multiply the 3 times the 4, here we're going to multiply the 3 times the x, and the 3 times the negative 5, and see what we get. So 3 times 2x, that's 6x, 3 times 4, that's plus 12, equals 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times negative 5 is minus 15, and then we still have the plus 10 over there. The next step is now to move all the x's to one side of everything else that does not have an x to the left side of the equation. So here we get the 3x moving in this direction, the plus 12 moving that direction, remembering that when we cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So this is 6x minus 3x equals minus 15 plus 10, and then we move the 12 across, that becomes minus 12. So 6x minus 3x, that is 3x, equals minus 15 plus 10, that's minus 5, minus 12, that's minus 17, and now dividing both sides of the equation by the, num the number in front of the x, called the numerical coefficient, and then we get x equals minus 17 over 3. Now on to the third example, and there you see you have a combination of brackets and parentheses, so how do we deal with that? The trick is to first get rid of the inside parentheses and then worry about the outside brackets. On the right side, since we only have one set of parentheses, we can easily solve that at the same time. So we're going to distribute the negative sign on the 3 and the negative sign on the x. Here we're going to distribute the negative 5 on the x and the negative 5 on the negative 4 and see what we get. So we have 5 minus 2 times x, so leave everything else the same. Now we distribute the minus on the 3 that becomes minus 3, and the minus on the x that becomes minus x, like so, equals 1. Now we distribute the minus 5 on the x that becomes minus 5x, and the minus 5 on the minus 4 that becomes plus 20. So we got rid of all the parentheses. Next step is to get rid of the brackets. In this case, the negative 2 is going to be distributed to the x, to the negative 3, and to the negative x. And see what we get. 5 minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times a minus 3 is a plus 6, minus 2 times a minus x is a plus 2x, equals 1 minus 5x plus 20. Now the next step is we move all the terms with x to one side, everything else to the other side. So the 5 moves to the right, the plus 6 moves to the right, and the minus 5x moves to the left. Again, remembering that whenever we move something across the equal sign, the sign will change. <clears throat> so we have minus 2x plus 2x, and then the minus 5x moves across, becomes a plus 5x equals. On the right side, we already have a 1, and we already have a 20, but we don't yet have the, the 5 that now becomes a minus 5, and the plus 6 that now becomes a minus 6. So now we have everything separated. On the left, all the terms with an x. On the right, the terms without the x. Now, of course, you can see that the minus 2x will cancel out the plus 2x. On the right side, on the left side, you have a 5x. And on the right side, 20 minus 5 minus 6, that's 9, plus 1, that is 10. And now dividing both sides by the number in front of the x, 5 and 5, that cancels out. We have x equals 2. And there you go. That's how you solve these linear problems. Uh, to solve for one of the variables 
by getting rid of the parentheses first and if you have a combination of them work from the inside out work the inside parentheses first and then work the outside brackets next i'll have some more examples of how to solve linear equations in one variable if you tune into the next video